In this day and age, we all know that Smash went from a sacred selection of Nintendo characters to an all-out who's who of video game icons. If you're in Smash, you're an icon, plain and simple. But the fighters included in Ultimate's DLC so far are not only awesome, but a bit unexpected, considering it was made public that Nintendo themselves would be conducting the list of DLC fighters for Sakurai to choose from. I can imagine that conversation went a bit something like this. Hey, we're giving you the DLC list of characters. Well, fuck, there goes all the creativity. Fine then. What do you want? More Fire Emblem? No, uh, actually it would be pretty sweet if you could make Joker, Banjo-Kazooie, and the Dragon Quest heroes. So Atlas, Microsoft, and another Square Enix rep. You have 24 hours. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah, Nintendo's list has been nothing but some of the biggest shockers in Smash so far. And it's a pleasant surprise for all of us fans. I think it's cool that Nintendo in general has been branching out into third-party representation with the Switch, but for them to incorporate it willingly into Smash, which is probably its biggest IP at the current moment, is pretty damn progressive. But while they gave Sakurai a list, he deserves a ton of credit for giving the fans what they wanted. Banjo was consistently a top 5 voted for character across the world in the Smash ballot, at least in unofficial polls to gauge character interest, and the hero has been a long time requested character in Japan especially the country that has almost single-handedly made the Dragon Quest franchise one of the highest-selling RPGs of all time. And although Joker came after the Smash ballot, he was one of the most requested characters for Ultimate, and Sakurai delivered on the very first Challenger pack, kicking off what has so far been nothing but pure fan service and hype across the board. And the people wanted Goku, and this fucking guy is about as close as we're gonna get. So, who knows? Maybe we'll get more similar characters to the ones people want. Like instead of Master Chief, we can get James Pierce from Metroid Other M. He's Nintendo. Nintendo and Sakurai are proving to be the Smash Hype Dream Team. Nintendo has provided a list of strings they've pulled, and Daddy Sakurai always knows best and has picked the characters that fans have wanted most so far. And there's still two slots to go. Now, if you ask me, anything is up for grabs at this point. But I love this approach of Nintendo picking big third-party names and Sakurai cutting down to what was most requested. And while we don't know the results of the Smash ballot, probably because Sakurai is afraid to reveal that Shrek was the most voted for character, I feel like he's still taking it into consideration when choosing, like a sort of guide to what will make the majority the most happy overall. And so, I just want to say I'm happy Nintendo is taking this approach, and I'm happy that we have the best possible man for bringing the hype. Let me know who you think will be the final two fighters based on what we've seen, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Deuces!